Good morning guys, welcome to Vlogmas Day 24. Good morning guys, it is 5 a.m. I am getting up to go <clears throat> with a friend up to Wyoming to uh, Somerville. So, it should be a fun day. I'll try to shoot some video on my phone if I can. You know, my phone's not quite as cool as Erica's, but we'll see. Got my coffee pot going. I filled me a whole fern thermos full of coffee. And uh, yeah, it should be a fun time. So, we'll see you guys. Isn't bad. Oh, it's a kitty. Hello. What are you doing? Good morning, Jax. Bags and boxes. Those are his favorites. And it. Oh, I know. I can film you. Do you want me to film you? Do you want me to film you? Hello, Bandit. Good morning. Do you want a treat? Okay, come on. Shake. Oh, you can't shake when you're laying down. Get up. Get up. Good boy. That's fine. It's Christmas. I'll let you slack on the, the tricks. Aha. Uh -huh. Is this what you wanted? You want some attention? Are you feeling left out? Well, we're contemplating going up that. I don't know if this camera does that justice, but that looks scary. Think about that for a minute. Oh, I missed him coming down. <laughs> yeah, that looks scary, dude. <laughs> that wasn't too bad. Brian playing the street, crossing the street. So deep right there. So we're at the top of that hill and Brian goes, yeah, in the summertime, there's this beautiful waterfall. I'll show it to you. We stop and we look and then we go down. It was so scary. And so now Brian says, so do you want to go back up it? Or there's my alternative. I keep going down. I think I'm going to vote for that. Even though I'm not sure which one looks worse.
And I mixed something. Christmas morning, black and green tea. Day 25. This one is called Gumdrops. Gumdrops and candy canes. Super pretty. Here are all the skeins I got. I think there's one more purple still in my bag. And then here's the final one. So that's the 2018 at Homespun House Advent Yarn Calendar. Here's the progress I made. And I added this color last night. I think we're gonna add a couple more colors and then we'll probably be done. I probably won't finish it on Vlogmas, so make sure you're following me on Instagram. I'll put the um, final product on there. I also managed to get a little bit of sewing done yesterday, so I got the border on my center of picnic blanket for my quilt, and then I started on my houses, but I didn't quite get them put all the way together. Here's what the quilt looks like again. Here's the center, which is this, and then all the little houses around the edges. And someone was asking, and this quilt will be about 75 by 75 when it is all done, and I still have all these pieces over here. So Jason found a creek bottom. Dude, I literally am gonna die here. We'll come back and get him in the spring. <coughs> Jason Post Creek incident. Dude, I almost died. Like seriously, I fell in that hole. And there's water in it. And these sleds are 450 pounds. <laughs> Good time. See the view you missed, Jay, because you didn't want to climb up this hill. There you are at the bottom. There's these mountains only we're right up next to them now. Kind of windy up here. And we just drove across the lake, which Brian assured me was frozen, but still a little sketchy. What's up? We got Bandit and Jax. All right guys, we are headed to church. Jax, what are you doing? What are you doing in my guitar case? All right, I don't know if you guys can see that, but that's, it kind of looks like a harvest moon. I know it's December, but kind of going behind the clouds back there and it's super pretty. So I just wanted to share it with you. It's also a really nice night. I'm standing out on my deck and honestly, the cool weather feels nice.
All right, guys, we are gonna do tea in just a little bit because we have the kids joining us tonight. But before we started that, I wanted to find out about your snowmobiling trip because Jason sent me a picture and I will try and insert it right here. You probably already saw some of the footage um, of him in a huge hole. Yeah, it was, hole. it was really fun super hard and kind of terrifying at times so yeah my friend brian took me i've known him for over 40 years you know like since we were kids and he took me up and tried to kill me i think <laughs> <laughs> i crashed four times each time got progressively worse one time i just fell over and was like okay well this isn't bad one time i tipped over and I'm like, oh man, how are we gonna get this down? And he's like, well, you just rolled the sled over. So we literally like flipped it upside down and rolled it down the hill. I was like, okay, okay. The third time I went into a tree, that was kind of scary. And then yeah, the last time I like got thrown over the sled into this hole and I'm like hanging there and my feet are not touching the ground. And I'm like, I'm going to like drop out of existence here. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so that definitely I finally out. fell, but I touched the ground and then yeah, I'm like, Brian, how am I gonna get out of here? And I had to How'd like, you get out? I pulled like snow in and kind of like buried myself and well, packed it, it down. Like powdery, and right? Filled. If filled. Well, it was you a, fell in a hole. It wasn't powdery. It was blown over. It was oh. like a void, and all it was was snow on top. Oh. So I literally like filled the hole. Oh, I thought around you Around me down. and climbed out. Okay, I thought you fell down in a whole thing of powder and you just were surrounded. No, by it was a creek bottom, and I was okay. hanging off the side of the sled. You don't ride these sleds like. You don't sit on them and go and just steer them. You like hang off of the side. So I'm standing on the left side of the sled, trying to keep it level as it wants to go down the hill into this hole. And it just kicked and it just threw me in. Yeah, it was crazy. It was so fun, but yeah. Well, the, the scariest part of it. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, avalanches? hold on. I forgot about the best. Yeah, so get out of the truck. And he hands me this thing. He's like, here, put this on. I'm like, what's that? And he's like, it's an avalanche beacon. I'm like, what? And then he's like, do you want this backpack? And I'm like, what's that? He's like, well, if you pull this thing, it like creates a bubble around you. And so I'm you like, yeah, give me the backpack. <laughs> <laughs> so oh <my> gosh. <laughs> that's how it starts off and the wind's blowing. It's like 40 miles an hour. <laughs> and you're like, why? And you why? literally, you go, it's, I think it's like highway 131 or something. You drive until they just stop plowing the road. Yeah. And it's just like closed for the year or something. Yeah. I mean, you're in Wyoming and there's nothing. And then we're like going and there's probably I don't know, 25, 30 trucks, and so two to three sleds per truck. We didn't see any of these people. And so I get back, and I'm like, Brian, where were all these guys? And he's like, well, they probably stuck to the trail. So I'm like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so yeah, he shows me hills. He's like, oh yeah, that's the widow maker. He shows me Matt's Hill where his friend died. And oh, that's scary. Oh, I mean, it was, it was, he goes like, oh, we got this beautiful waterfall. And I'm like, oh, cool. And we go look at it, and I'm thinking, yeah, cool. We're going to go, and he goes, and we go down it. Now we're at the bottom of it, and he's like, well, we can go back up it. And I'm like, no, I think I'd rather go that way. <laughs> but me and both down. of them went pretty terrifying. So. <laughs> His sleds, like, so these were like rockets. I mean, he's like, oh, I turned your turbo down. So to four, I mean, it had 200 horsepower, right? I mean, that's what a car has. This is like a 500-pound snowmobile, and it's just a rocket, and it... It's, oh uh, yeah, it's a, it's crazy. And his is insane. His, mine was an 800 cc, 163 inch track. His was a 850 cc with the turn down turbo. His was an 850 cc with like a 175 inch track. I mean, this thing was just insane. We're going on this road and I, I, I bet I was going 50. That's he comes by me just, Whoa! <laughs> He was probably doing 70. I mean, yeah. it was just that's crazy. Crazy. Brian's like, okay, we're we're about four and a half miles from the truck now, and I'm thinking four and a half miles. Did, he, did you guys have a GPS on you? Like, how does he know? Where no, he at? just no, he's been up there. He okay. knows that area. He's like, all right, we're gonna. I know this shortcut. That was a <laughs> <I know> shortcut. <laughs> like, we, we don't need to go on the trail. We're going up, and all of a sudden, I'm like. <laughs> this is ice i think we're on a lake he's like oh don't worry that's frozen <laughs> yeah yeah it was it was pretty crazy I, and i didn't do half the stuff he did he's 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 crazy so yeah it was fun so would you go again yeah i'd go again like i've had time to process and it was like oh that was fun like, at the time seriously some of it was pretty scary like yeah. you're going down and you can't change your mind right i mean you're heading down a hill just, and they're not yeah. like you're not like you know they're not perfectly flat like it's like on a side slope and gravity wants to take you down and there's trees right there and the snow blows up against the tree so it's like voids and yeah i mean and like i said you gotta lean you gotta basically hold the sled on a side so the really, avalanche beacon thing go like work like he it, like it he has a locator on him like <laughs> i don't know 
Possibly but there is a, no, no, it's a beacon you. like they can find you. I don't know if he could find me. He must. We stopped by this sign and it's like, are you beeping? So you walk up to it and it's like, you're good to go. Yeah. And it tests your beacon. I feel like. But I don't know. I, I probably should have asked him like, dude, if you get buried in Africa, yeah, how do I find you? I wouldn't have known how they worked. Hopefully he pulled the little bubble wrap or whatever the heck that thing was. He's like, I don't think we're going to go anywhere we need it. Do you want it? And I'm like, yeah. yeah. I'd rather have it not need it than need it and not have it. Like it could have okay, been yeah, really we're in dangerous. Like a hole that was taller than you. That well, that was scary. Like I said, when I first fell in, I couldn't. Fe my feet weren't touching anything. I th literally thought I had found like some sort of bottomless <laughs> pit. Like I was just gone. Yeah. And it broke through, and then fortunately I landed, and I was like, okay, I'm on ground. But I mean, it was up to my neck. I'm like, how am I gonna get out of here? Yeah. And literally, I just filled. I filled it and packed it, and it took me like 20 minutes. Well, 15 minutes to get out. Yeah. Well, and then hole, the so. sled is on its side, and thankfully that didn't go on oh, top dude. of you. Like, yeah, I, I don't even know how we would have got the sled out. If that sled would have fell in that hole, yeah, it would have been. Holy cow! I don't even know. Um, Brian said he was looking. He's like, I wish I had my GoPro because I literally was like airborne. <laughs> I should have given you the GoPro. Why didn't you take the GoPro? I didn't today? think oh about gosh, it. I know what it would have been. Such great footage. What would oh, be? dude, it would. Darn you guys would have been like. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, well that was an exciting story. I'm glad you uh, made I hope it out the footage alive. makes it on the vlog and you guys can see it because yeah. it was it was pretty crazy. Yeah. yeah. Almost just started coming. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, the kids are drinking hot chocolate. Jason and I are drinking fireside mocha. I like this one. It actually tastes very chocolatey. Do you like it? Yeah, I think so. It's, it definitely tastes chocolatey, but it's not brown, so it's kind of weird to me. Yeah. Okay, so as you may have noticed, we're starting off our tea a little different. We have some uh, other people joining us. Obviously, these are all our kids. And you guys had some questions for the kids, so I'm going to have them answer them, and then Jason and I will take a couple questions. All right, Kelly Mays 5. What are each of the kids' favorite thing about Christmas? This year is really flying by. It is, isn't it? Yeah. All right, uh, Haley, do you have a favorite thing? Not really. They're, I don't know, I like them all the same. You like just everything about Christmas? Yes. <laughs> Alright. That's okay. That's okay. You can say that. I, I love like everything Sam. about Christmas. Sam? Everything, but especially food. Food. <laughs> <laughs> Olivia? Jesus. Jesus. Katie? Jesus is the reason for the Probably. season. Probably. Jesus, family, food, everything. 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 <laughs> Jason? No, oh, I guess they didn't ask I like us. the food. They didn't ask me. Oh. They didn't ask <laughs> me. We can answer anyways. cookies. <laughs> and the presents. I think I just like everything about the season. I love all the twinkle lights and the music and just, I kind of like the lead up to Christmas probably more than Christmas itself, I think. I just like the season. All right, Olivia J712 says, do your kids stay in pajamas on Christmas? No. I don't know. <laughs> I try to. Uh, I don't. Because we usually have to travel. Like we go between families. Yeah, we're usually so. driving, so we kind of have to get up, get dressed, go to the next house, and yeah. So then we come home and everybody puts on their jammies and we kind of, chill out after that but let's see Kim C Andrews says what are the ages of your kids 15 14 12 <laughs> 10 10 9 8 even though we keep calling her 9 she's 10 she's 10 Mustang <laughs> Susie it looks like Sam may be the joker of the group is this true yeah, yes. yeah. <laughs> no. Kathleen Rackout what is each of your kids favorite hobbies Haley horseback riding Sam scootering uh sewing singing Guitar, ukulele, thing, everything. A lot. <laughs> Katie? Scootering, hockey, sewing. Yay. That's enough. That's a lot. All right. Camille 30, what are your favorite Christmas movies? Um, mine is Elf. Jason? Die Hard. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> okay, fine. Hallmark Christmas. Sam? Literally no idea. You don't like Christmas Say movies? The Grinch. No. The <laughs> Grinch. The <laughs> Grinch. <laughs> Mine is Matchmaker Santa. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Katie? It's not a Christmas movie, it's although Christmas. I like a royal wedding. A, ro a, royal, a royal wedding. wedding. Or is that a royal Christmas? A royal. No, it's oh. wedding. Like, yeah, it's a royal wedding. Okay, so that's a good one too, with Lacey, Shabber, and the same. same. All right guys, that's it for us for Vlogmas tonight. Thank you so much for joining us today. We will see you tomorrow for the last day of Vlogmas. Bye. Bye. Okay, I think that's good. All right, here. are you ready? <laughs> Sitting up straight is awful. <laughs> Jason, let's go. J K L M N. He's watching.
watching them. Livy, darling, hand him the mug, will you? <laughs> Okay, this one is Farsa. Wait, tell Daddy. Dad, tonight's Farsa. Oh, Sam's dying. What happened? Yeah. Dang it! Why didn't we do that? I didn't think I'm about so it. I'm so regretting that right I didn't now. Think about Sorry, it. guys. That would have been awesome. Next time I go, I'll bring it. Shoot. Okay. So. Next time you go. I won't do it over Christmas in case I die. I don't want to ruin Christmas. I know, Christmas that's America. what I was thinking. I'm like, if he dies over Christmas, I'm going to be really sad. <laughs> that's going to ruin all my Christmases oh, forever. I know. <laughs> okay. I like Vlogmas. That's Jason my favorite. Likes Vlogmas. Thing. Let's see. Kim C. Andrews says, What are the ages of your kids? 15, 14, 13, 12. <laughs> <laughs> I thought we were going to the line. <laughs> yeah, all right, you do have <laughs> Kathleen Rackow, what is each of your favorite kids? What's your favorite kids? <laughs> Which one's my favorite kid? <laughs> oh, I, I, yeah, answer that. I love them all. Right. I don't like all four. They're all my favorite. Okay. Ugh. Gotta think. <laughs> <laughs> I can just edit all this awkward silence out. <laughs>